This is Jake Pasicki with an ACT science data interpretation question. Now this is a fairly involved problem in that it's asking us to turn this table data into graphical data. And not only that, it's asking us to turn this table data from both tables into a graphic, into a graph um, for all three beds uh, of, uh, of plants. And so that's a, that's a very, uh, it's something that might be intimidating to most people, but just ho hang in there, I have confidence you'll be able to get it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through each graph and see if what we see represented in the graph matches up with the data that we see in the tables. So let's go for this first one just to show you how we're doing it. So um, we see that in each of the graphs we have average water requirement on the x-axis and plant height on the y-axis. And so um, the farther that we go on this x-axis, the more water is required by that plant. And the far, the higher up we go on the y-axis, the higher that the the higher the plant's height was on average. And so, um, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, is look at uh, for this. Let's look at this one. Let's look at just bed one, for example. Um, if we're looking at bed one in this graph, we would expect that bed one would have higher water usage than bed two or bed three, because we can see that it uses more water. Um, than bed one or bed three, I'm sorry, than bed two or bed three in each of, in each week. So we'd expect that bed one um, would be farther along the x-axis, um, which in this case we actually see is accurate because um, bed one goes as far on the x-axis. Then we would expect that bed two would use slightly more water than bed three. So bed two would be second and bed three would be third, the slowest, the, the least far along on the x-axis, which is accurate in this answer choice. Um, so then looking at it next, we would be looking at, oops, it's hard to see, it's hard to see, it's hard to see the heights here with the dots. So I'm just gonna clear that up. Um, we would expect then, if we're looking at plant height, um, that the bed three, the aeroponic plants were the highest. So we would expect bed three to have the highest height out of all of the the plants here. We expect. Then we looked at. If we look at bed one, we see that bed one ends at the highest, the second highest height of 6.3, and then bed two ends in third place with the the 6.2. Sorry, bed two ends with 6.2 uh, inches as uh, the option as the the height there managed by these lettuce plants. So we expect the highest to be bed three, which we actually see is true in answer choice one. Um, then we see the second highest should be in bed one, which we see is true. And then the third high should be bed two, which is right below it. So answer choice one is a good option actually, because it goes, it, it matches the data for what we'd expect from table one and table two. So let's look at our other options and see if we have the same scenario. So actually we can eliminate uh, answer choices B and C very quickly because we can see that they actually have the order for water requirement switch. So they have bed one using the least amount of water, as you can see, because it's the least far along this X axis here. Um, both of these have that same situation. And so we have to eliminate both of them because we know that bed three actually uses the least amount of water, not the most. So these are both gone. And so it's between uh, answer choice A and answer choice D. And we see that answer choice D and A actually both have the same. Um, bed one is the most water. Bed two is the second most. Bed three is the third most. Uh, bed three is the highest. Bed one is the second highest. And bed two is the third highest. So those metrics are exactly the same. And so we have to look at what's the difference. When we see something where two things seem exactly the same, we have to look at what's the difference between them. And if we look at this graph and this graph, we'll see that one graph has a sort of a curved exponential uh, or exponential curve to the, the graph where it, it starts off slower. The, in the beginning, as the, the amount of water you put in yields a smaller increase, and then towards the end, uh, the more water you put in, the little, just using the same amount of water increases the plant height more as we're here it's a very linear one-to-one -one relationship and so we should take a look at that for one of these examples so let's look at um, bed three for example we see that um, uh, in the first week the, uh, we put in 0 0.02 um, liters of water and it required 0 0.02 liters of water and used and grew zero inches then the next week we also also required 0 0.02 liters of water um, and required uh, and it gained 0.4 inches. The next week it used 0 0.03 liters of water and went 1.4 inches, which is almost, which is over three times this. Uh, in week four, it went to 0 0.5, which is, so not too much growth here in terms of the amount of water used, but it, du it doubles, it doubles in size. 
um, and it's going up significantly. It's going up significantly more each week um, than the water usage is. So like it's not we we're not seeing that as the water increases, so it is the height of the plants. We're seeing that as the water increases a little bit, the height of the plants increases a lot towards the end. And we can see that in beds one, beds two, and beds three related to the water. So we know that it actually has to be answer choice A, not answer choice D, because if it was answer choice D, we would see a more linear relationship between these the data in these two tables.